Okay guys, so today we are going to be doing a review on a new release from the company Best Tech, which is one of our, another one of our Chinese makers uh, that actually produce really high end, pretty high quality knives for pretty affordable prices. And I'm going to be rolling in some use footage of my time with this little Hornet. And yeah, so without any further ado guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more crazy Alaskan awesomeness such as reviews like these and now let's get into it. I apologize we haven't been doing a whole lot of EDC content on the channel and that's because in the summer I tend to focus the channel more on outdoors and bushcraft plus like Ashley and I we just got a horse and so you know naturally our content's going to gravitate more toward being outside and once again it's 70 it's sunny or it's in the 70s it's sunny we just want to be outside so there's not going to be a whole lot of EDC content in the summer but this is going to be part of that. So this is, like I said, the Best Tech Hornet, and it is a flipper knife. It's a pretty new release by Best Tech. I think they're releasing this at Blade Show, if I remember correctly, or if not, maybe a little bit earlier than that. But I was sent this one to review, and I, along with a string of other reviewers, will be mobbed by mosquitoes. Just kidding, but are also going to be reviewing this same knife. Luckily, I was the first one to get it, so awesome, I get to use it, and everyone else gets to use it after me. <laughs> Anyways, so I've been using, rocking this thing around for the last week, and uh, Overall, I have to say, it's probably not a knife that I would normally gravitate to because for those who don't already realize, I'm not a huge fan of cleaver styled blades, which is this kind of blade style that has a very rounded tip and it has very large, you guys can see how wide this puppy is. But I have to say, for this being a cleaver styled folder, it actually does very well. Like you guys can see how I was chopping up the cardboard box um, from one of my favorite pizza companies and it also because it's a cleaver cleaver styles naturally are better at food processing so i looked around my uh, kitchen and i was like banana and so I just grabbed a banana and sliced it up and that really i think accurately shows this knife at its best the cleaver knives are really good at processing food this geometry and style of tip lends its hands most best or the best possible way to being able to slice up food, chop up food, stuff like that. That is where you're gonna find the greatest utilitarian ability out of this knife. But I think the way Best Tech, the designers there at Best Tech, have designed this knife make it a very capable and very comfortable and confident EDC knife. Because like I said, you can see how uh, the cardboard box cutting went very well, even with this uh, kind of rounded tip. So other than that, I've been very impressed by the action and that's really saying something because this is a pretty big, kind of thick, moderately thick st uh, sized blade, but even a very gentle push, kind of like this, is enough to lock it. And that is going up, so that's with the blade weight working against it, but a moderate push sends it right up. This isn't one of those wrist flick kind of knives. You don't need to throw your wrist into it. Just a moderate little push like that sends the blade up. And so it has an extremely smooth action. You guys can see here. Uh, here, I'll try and get it right for you guys. So you guys can see it, it closes by itself. It doesn't need any help. Uh, one thing also that impressed me is that on most flipper knives like this, the D10 is really strong, but not on this guy. You guys can see here, as an opening hole, I can grab this opening hole and just open it with the opening hole. If I don't wanna throw it out with a flipper, I can just open it, you know, with this opening hole and it's unobtrusive and it works just as good. So that was another thing that really impressed me about this knife. Now I'm not gonna lie, liner locks are also another thing that I'm not a huge fan of. This is a liner lock knife, but I have to say that the liner lock is well cut. They have a nice recess in the opposite side liner so that you can really get your thumb on the liner and unlock it. And the liner lock locks up good. The, the what is it? The Blade play is not non-existent. It has no blade play in it whatsoever in any direction. So that's another good thing about it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this cleaver style blade, they have kind of overbuilt this knife. So it is a little bit more hefty to carry. And so that's probably one of my biggest dislikes. Uh, I will say they have skeletonized the liners, but they have very 
thick slabs of G10 on both sides. And while I like the colors and the texture is actually pretty good, this is a hefty knife. Another thing that adds to the heft of this knife is they've added, and it looks nice style-wise, but it hurts as far as, far as weight goes, but they've added a brass backspacer, as I hope you guys can see there. And once again, the brass color really helps offset the uh, you know, green and black G10 handles, and so you kind of got that brass kind of goldish color to it. And so it helps offset and looks great, but it adds quite a bit of weight to the handle of this knife. And then you throw this really thick, kind of chunky blade in there, and you get a pretty hefty package. So the, the weight is not one of my favorite things about this knife. The other thing I kind of dislike is the clip. I will say I don't really like this style of clip. It's very, very hard to move, which isn't too bad because they've done a pretty good job, hopefully you guys can see there, at making a nice little, you know, kind of lip so that when you insert into your pocket, it does okay, but it's very tight and it's a very hard clip. I don't really like the style. It has this weird kind of undulation right here and I don't really know why that exists. Just kind of for reference, clips I personally like are like on this Microtech Ultratech. It's very flat, very streamlined, and it doesn't have a super un or super obtrusive kind of opening here for you sliding it into your pocket. It's just done really well. Plus, you guys can see here, it has some bend in the pocket clip. I actually like having a little bit of bend in the pocket clip. So just kind of a little bit of a dislike. Anyways, other than that, the knife is actually really good. I really only have those two complaints. I or I'd have I do have another complaint about this knife. And once again, this knife is kind of trying to balance style with functionality. And so they have this kind of back spine here. As you guys can see, there's kind of like grooves cut into almost like a big set of jimping. That stuff is extremely uncomfortable to put your thumb on. And they have a similar set here back on the actual handle. And while it's less comfort or less uncomfortable to put it right there it still hurts and I really wish they hadn't done that I mean yeah it makes the blade look cool but at the same time when you sacrifice functionality for appeal I really don't appreciate that so that's that's about the only gripe I have on the blade itself I will say positive is I do like the big opening hole the blade shape like I said surprised me I was not when they told me that this was going to be a cleaver style blade, I did not have high expectations. I was like, oh no, another cleaver blade. You know, but this one actually was impressive and it works very well. As far as the ergos go, they're just fine for me. Little big, just the way I like it. The finger grooves cut uh, just fine for me. I have no issues with really any of the ergonomics. The knife, while like I said, a little hefty in hand, feels just fine and comfortable and I do like the way that they grooved the G10 so that you have plenty of side side and side traction so the hand the knife's not going to slip out of your hand I also like the one part of G grimping at yeah, jimping on this knife that I do like is right up here on this little ramp it is very comfortable jimping to lock into and it's not excessive like this and like this so anyways, other than that, the knife looks pretty attractive. I like the colorations of the handle and that little backspacer. It was a nice touch. And overall, I like the knife quite a bit. Um, would definitely recommend this to someone who's looking for a knife that is, that's a cleaver style blade. But this is definitely one of those knives that's a little bit more for the eccentric carry. This is not going to be one of those really practical knives, kind of like this Microtech Ultratech. Not quite this double-edged version, but you know, a single-edged version of the Ultratech. Very practical, very streamlined, very simple. Whereas this is a little bit more eccentric and crazy for those people that want that kind of crazy blade style and blade shape. And so anyways it impressed me with how functional it actually ended up being but i don't know if i'd personally go out and buy this thing because it is that cleaver style anyways guys that's all for now god bless hopefully you've enjoyed this god bless and i'm out